Ramble. Oh, it's me, in a frog. <laughs> Welcome to Guilty Pleasures. <laughs> give, give, give it to me, too, G. Yeah. <laughs> what? Let's fucking go. I'm so sorry. You missed the sound effect. God damn it. Let's you do got it again. It again. Do it again. Give, give, give it to me, too, G. <laughs> <laughs> When Welcome. did you make that? This morning. Yes. Oh, guilty so pleasures. Yeah, right. Welcome back to Tucci Month. Welcome back to the studio, Mr. Miles Bonsignore. <laughs> give, give, give it to me, Tucci. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Tucci gang? Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang. What's up? Some of you don't know the name, too, but that's yeah. not yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, Where has this been? We've been I had COVID. I was, so <laughs> it was out. SNL. No, Miles, Miles had COVID. Came yeah. back with a fucking fire. That's yeah. damn and right. I think that's what COVID brain does to you. Damn Earn right. Everybody should Garrett go out for there. For sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're gonna get right. on Reddit. Right. You, right. you, right. you, right. right. you watch it. You watch Conspiracy theorists. <laughs> Tell me reunite. that sound. Give it to me, Tucci. Where is did is that you pitch shifted? Yeah, of course <laughs> it's, it is. It's my voice this morning. Earning his fucking paycheck. Which I came in early, and then we delayed by an hour, which is good, because that yeah. meant that I could make more sound effects. I'm going to dole out over the rest of the episode. Miles, I'm going to march right into <laughs> the... Nick, I'm, as soon as this is over, I'm marching right over into the production office. Yeah. You just got yourself a ten dollar raise. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Not much. Not much. That's a lot in this $10 economy. Ten dollar raise. Ten dollar. You baby. can buy chicken now. That's right. Every Chicken's sound $20. effect you play, you will get another ten dollar bonus. Olio <laughs> What did that say? I'll play it again later. It's yeah. fine. Wow. Well, we day. are here to round out Tucci Month, which. With maybe the Tucci's film mm-hmm. that's yeah. ever Tucci'd yeah. before. We're talking about Julie and Julia, the Ooh. Nora Ephron classic. Ooh. And classic Miles B film. in yeah. the house. You love this film. This movie is top five for me, <gasps> at least. Wow. Um, I, I think that it is a movie that is pure joy. It's yeah. not yeah. like y- people think movies need to be like freaking smart. And I think. <laughs> <laughs> this, is so this is a dumb film. No, no, okay. this is not a Tell dumb film. This movie face. is, it's perfect to me. I, I just, I find it to be so charming. It's yeah. about love. Yes. Uh, Meryl Streep is the fucking best. Yes. Yeah. Stanley Tucci in this is adorable. Yes. Meryl Streep I'm dwarfs sorry. I'm him. I'm sorry, adorable. I'd say he's a fuck. He's, he's a, a fuck, fuck machine. Fuck. Yeah. He fucks fuck hard. Machine. He fucks hard in this movie. Machine. That's all he does is yeah. shave his head and fuck. Wow. And, and I, to me, this type of movie, all he does <laughs> is As a gay man, it's Incredible what he okay, does. Okay, well, there is a snippet of him I saying, I am know. not a homosexual. And I, I thought that was know. a very funny thing. I should have put that on the soundboard. <laughs> yeah, I am not I, a homosexual. I am not. And homosexual. I don't believe it. But yeah, I just, I don't to, believe it to me, either. this is like, that's a movie that, uh, I don't know when the fuck it came out, but it, it to me is a classic type of film that's not yeah. really yeah. made anymore. Yeah. And yeah. it's just like, oh, we're doing like establishing shots with sort of like lovely little music and that type of thing. I just adore. And I wish yeah. more movies would. Uh, try not to be so smart today where they're yeah. trying to outthink the viewer yeah. and be like, what if we subverted what the beginning of a movie was? And it's right. like, no, this just works. And just let good. it be cute. Yeah. This was like a feel this a, good. This is like uh, jazz to me, if that Aww. makes sense. Dude. Where um, I feel like jazz is perfect music and the fact mm. that America made it is very special and we've moved Finally. past that formula because we're just like oh we want something new Mm -hmm. but we never really fucking needed to if you ever like think about it so the same shit with this movie yeah where it's like yeah all of these all of these films were kind of doting on the the same formula and we move past it because we're like we need to progress as a society of course Mm -hmm. or or show different types of stories but you really didn't need to this is Pure, it, it is pure joy. Yeah. I know I'm doing my, not synopsis, but my um, review of the film. <laughs> right at the, beginning. Now. At the very beginning. But I, I, I truly just think that we never really need to move past this type yeah. of movie. It's, it's a story of love. Yeah. Love between so many things. I, a woman and her husband, another woman and her husband, a woman with food, another woman with food, and yeah. another woman in love with another woman. It, it's <laughs> ultimately, I mean, it's about food, and there's a lot to talk about the food, but it, yeah. it's a love story to art, right? It's yeah. about the way that your heroes in art, in pop yeah. culture, whatever, uh, are more real in your heart mm-hmm. in your and in your right. mind than who they were as people. It doesn't mm. really matter who they are. It, it is to 
Oh, I was going to say it's a great study on uh, Never Meet Your Heroes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so. Like, where, I mean. Yeah, yeah. We, please, we'll dive but, in. Yeah. I, uh, I feel like, to me, watching it, this was like chicken noodle soup as a Yeah. Oh, 100%. This was Fuck like yes. climbing into a little snuggy fort. It, mm -hmm. This was the most Christmas, non-Christmas movie I've ever I watched. I felt oh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. I think it's Thanksgiving. A Thanksgiving movie. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is autumnal. This is wrap yourself up in a blanket with some hot cocoa. Yeah. This is salve for the soul. It actually made me think many times of our good buddy, Kate Peterman, and the way that she talked about Bridget Jones's diary. It's, however, it's, many, mm -hmm. it's like, the same formula. It's mm -hmm. just like, yeah. it, there's, real, there's some conflict, but... Sort of. Yeah, not no, really. Not particularly. Like barely. Yeah. And, I was thinking and about is it, that. Is it that the Tooch only signs on for these types of films? Because I do believe that Devil Wears Prada is the same style. There's something really clean and simple about this that I think is quite lovely. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Clean and simple. Clean and fucking simple. By the way, I want you all to know that the Tooch board is going to stay <laughs> yeah. past Tooch Mars. Forever. Yeah, forever. <laughs> Wait, what came out first? Devil's Pro were Prada or this? Uh, they were one year after yeah, each other. Right, right. Which one? This was one year after Devil Wears Prada. Prada was 2008 oh, if, and this it, is 2009. It's, it's got to be the, mm. the like the solve for how bad Meryl was to Tooch and Devil Wears Prada that she was like, I'm going to do you one solid yeah. and yeah. I'm going to yeah, fucking you can fuck love you. Your you. Can I love that they love working together. Me, I do too. I love it. It's because he's a gay man. Yeah. You need to watch it. I will Easy. fucking stand by that on the internet. I'd all say it right to his face. Uh, also, and I think before we get started, it, it's important to, to note a sort of sad bit of trivia, but Julie Powell passed yes, away yeah. very, very recently. recently. Yeah. And uh, devastatingly sad. She was super young. She was forty nine. Yeah. Um, what happened? Uh, I don't. I don't really know. I'll I think it, it was up. sort of a just a random. She had cardiac arrest. Yeah. Oh yeah, fuck. Very cardiac arrest. But um. But that move. This movie being based on her <laughs> and like her writing is incredible. It's so yeah. wonderful well, and, and, and very sad that she's gone. But you know. So if you have not seen Julie and Julia, it stars Meryl Streep as Julia Childs, the great famed cookbook author, but it also stars Amy Adams as Julie, a temp worker in New York who's going through a little bit of a depression episode, and she decides that she is going to cook every single of Julia Child's 540-something recipes Jesus. and catalog it in her blog over the course of 365 days. So you have these dual stories of Julie in the present, Julia in the past, and the way that the recipes reach through time mm. to connect these two women. As the film says in the beginning, it's based on two true stories, or as I like to say, two cheese stories. Yeah, yes. give us one, Miles. Here's a recipe that my dad used to cook on a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> so, Miles, I want to know, when did the film the Julie fuck? and Julia first enter your orbit? <laughs> I That's watched this movie with my mom audio. when I was in high school. Aww. And I fucking loved it. It's and adorable. I, uh, we, lo we both loved it. My mom loves Julia Child. And I didn't really know who Julia Child was because that's no. like not my generation. But... I watched this movie with my mom and I loved it so much. And to me, it's, yeah, it's it's chicken noodle soup. And I've watched it like probably five times. And I, I, I watched it on a plane. It makes me cry. Oh, yeah. It's just such a beautiful movie. And there's something about a movie that, yeah, honestly, and this is a, a light, 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 light guilt. But yeah. um, <laughs> I don't need the conflict that is no. in the movie to be there at it, all. And, yeah. and it's fine that it is there, but I don't need it. it, it to me, the yeah. movie, the conflict of her internal struggle is conflict enough. Mm -hmm. You this, just want to float. Yeah, yeah. Right. this could have been a full non-conflict right. Paddington 2 style <clears throat> movie. There was so and much I conflict been, in Paddington. Yeah. <laughs> he went to prison. Yeah. He had to get out. Yeah. What with do you mean? with goodness. Okay. With Tell not, me, not a um, single conflict. Yeah. I, I'm gonna confess. I really like don't know much about Julia Childs. I know that she's a person, and now I know what I know mm -hmm. from this movie. But you, or I don't know if you guys have any connection at all. Can you speak to to who she is as a as a the mythos of Julia? She not, changed cooking. Yeah. yeah. She changed the way that American women cooked uh, forever. Like I think that it, previous to this, it was sort of this idea that like. 
American, it should be easy. It should fast. be easy, fast. And then American women didn't really like have time or expertise in the in the way that they could cook things. And I think that Julia Child brought this like in, she said, in slow down, bitch. Slow down, yeah. bitch. And she yeah. was like, <laughs> she was just sort of brought this like brilliance to cooking and this ease of access mm. to uh, like suburban women. Yeah, who yeah. were getting preservatives out the ass. Yeah. like we were going down a. Uh, a boxed road for a while. And yeah. you're saying uh, uh, American women because this was a time in which the housewives mm -hmm. were at home and expected to cook right. for the husband, mm -hmm. um, but there was a lack of passion and identity. And Julia, yeah. you see her in the beginning of the movie as someone who like doesn't ha feel... She's floating. She's she doesn't feel like she has a purpose. She's a personality, which also was what made her different from the women of the time. Is that yeah. like she was physically huge, like she was very tall and boisterous, yeah. and like <laughs> she also had such a big personality, which chefs are are notoriously cocky fucks. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. They're, they're quiet, they're bossy, they're sharp, they're edgy. Well, they, they have to be. They're, right. they're, they're manning a pirate ship. Exactly. And she made it seem like you could... Yeah, take a mindful moment mm -hmm. and have fun while cooking. Yeah. And I think that when, I mean, in speaking to chef shit, I think that when everything <laughs> is on the clock, just inherently or like baked in with food, you kind of get bossy. Yeah. Because if you're not at your station at, you know, mm -hmm. whatever minute it mm -hmm. takes to take this brioche off brioche yeah. um, what a fun word. is that a Boof cheese boogie it's, no it's bread <laughs> bread if, yeah if yeah. you're not there mm -hmm. and the shit burns you burn and then bread? we have to start over again and start over this three-hour process then fuck you what's the hardest thing all of you have cooked I've made duck a la range. What? Oh, oh fuck yeah. that rules. You boned yeah. a duck? Give, give, give it to me too, G. <laughs> yeah. You boned a no, duck? No, no, no. It's just a, uh, it was a duck breast that you just buy. Titties. Um, duck rolls. titties. Um, and yeah. it tastes so good, but it's mm. very difficult to get like the sauce. The glaze. Correctly. The glaze. What about you, Miles? Rules. You strike me as a dude who fucking cooks. I do love to cook. And I, I made a uh, Nam Khao Todd, which is this like crispy rice salad Ooh. from the like, Night and Market cookbook. And <gasps> it's just like got a lot of different steps and it's really fucking good. And wow. um, yeah, that was probably like the most complicated thing that I Hell made. Yeah. Wow. But uh, yeah, I love Zach, it. Zach, uh, you pass. Cook? <laughs> <laughs> I, there's something. Okay, so I don't like really enjoy cooking. Uh, it's well, well established, but I feel fucking love a movie where people yeah. love cooking yeah uh, this red chewy it. it's and it feels to me i know that cooking is its own thing but it i said it before it feels like a, a stand-in for art the mm -hmm. act of creation oh see i saw it as sex this movie is so fucking horny. You, you give, saw give, this. Give it to me too. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> did you not? I'm I'm shocked from you, Kelsey, that Why? you yeah. saw it. That you saw this as sex. I yeah, just, I didn't. I'm, could have I never am, saw this coming. You never I say that stuff. Actually, I never not shocked at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry. What you saying that made me think that you were being sarcastic. I was. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fuck. It's okay. It's I missed, okay. I missed the bit. Uh, it was biting for me too. I was like, is he fucking joking? It's yeah. but you. If you don't realize, like they fuck after meals in yeah. like every scene. Yes. Oh, I realize. Oh, yeah. they, it's it's um, on the bed. The shots yeah. of food are different. And like, I'm glad you touched on this because this was like my biggest pleasure was food was shot different. You get movies like Chef now, you get Anthony Bourdain shows. Everything's really colorful. Everything's really bright. Everything mm -hmm. is really accessible, fun, punchy, full of personality. And this food was fucking slutty. Yeah. This food was dark and Ugh. shadowy. Love it. It felt heavy. Mm -hmm. Especially the way they shot it in Julie's apartment. Yeah, yes. she, she, she had like the okay, she gets home from her temp job and she's like, there's such a what did she say? There's such a relief in knowing that if you add whipped eggs yeah. to milk and sugar <laughs> and whatever, it makes this frosting. And it's like you yes. have this like pie chocolate pie chocolate yeah. thing, and she's just like layering chocolate on you're like oh give it to me julie yeah and like yeah. the kitchen yeah. was really kind of small and gross yeah. like it didn't have to be this sexy also, french shit mm -hmm. also i just think that amy adams is bad as hell oh that my god yeah cut, so she, she, she yeah she's like a shapeshifter to where <laughs> i i know truly <laughs> truly truly julie truly um, tucci tucci oh give it no. to me julie <laughs> <laughs> but Arrival is one of my favorite sci-fi uh, films. so good. And yeah. she's in that. And you wouldn't even guess. Unrecognizable. Unrecognizable. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I would be like, wait, is it Amy Adams or Jessica Chastain in this yeah. movie? Yeah. 
And, Facts. you know, and, and Jessica Jans Chastain gives more of a, a science-y vibe. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, I mean, maybe in Arrival is Jessica Chastain. And then you look and it's Amy Adams and you're like, well, what the fuck? why is she a scientist in this? And then yeah. you see this movie and you're just like, God damn, Amy Adams is bad as hell. And then you yeah. go to Enchanted and you're like, what can she do? What can she do? What can't she do? She's yeah. doing so. She's, I think I, she's I'm, a making this, I'm making this statement. She's our next Meryl. Oh, I fully. I yeah. think that she already she is. been. Yeah, she's, she's, she's done. She's, been that. She's so what did she win Oscars for? She hasn't, and she hasn't. that's the big <gasps> thing. We're like waiting for. She's Amy's been nominated. Yeah. She's been nominated a bunch. This yeah. was not one mm -hmm. that she was. So Meryl was nominated for this film, and that was the only. This was the year, like yeah. the string of years in which Meryl couldn't fart on the sidewalk without getting an Oscar <laughs> nomination. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Hard pause. You are whining. <laughs> Ah, yes. You do you mean fart on the sidewalk as in she's walking on the sidewalk and she farts, or does she pull her pants down against yeah. the hot concrete? Oh, and, and let out a fart. A, oh yeah. my what? god! You don't what have, a visual. Yeah. <laughs> she, she bends her six foot seven ass. Down. Yeah, her creamy white bottom. Also, yeah. Just really quick, um, I was looking up. <laughs> Uh, Julie Childs because I had no idea yeah. Yeah, who, who she was she like. and I was like oh wow blah, 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 she's, that, this is great and then I look down and I see her bio she was six foot two yes. yeah, she's Whoa. put down the pan and yes. pick up the rock what the <laughs> fuck are you doing <laughs> play basketball <laughs> play basketball <Julie> <laughs> duck duck that's, that's probably why they were like you don't belong in here this, you belong yeah. on a court this Julia probably... Childs needs to be found the WNBA and be like oh, 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 I'm breaking your ankles <laughs> On, bitch. This is probably the perfect time <laughs> to talk about Tucci. Let's talk about Kelsey, their relationship. We're in the middle of doing a bit where we're Julia Child playing Julia basketball. basketball. She's she's basketball. basketball. It makes me so happy. We should stay, we the should stay here. Okay, carry on. on. Carry she's on. throwing the ball <laughs> off on. the backboard and dunking. Okay. I want a deep fake of Julia Child dunking. Yes. <laughs> Someone get that's on that. That's all I fucking need. Ooh, I've got ice in my veins. Ooh, that's a three, baby. <laughs> LeBron can get fucked. <laughs> Have we moved on? Can You're I? Can we talk about? Okay. No, nope, still not yet. Got it's it. She's like moving her fucking. She has the exact that, same haircut. I love that also. she talks yeah. like a like a turkey. Yeah, yes. she does talk. Like and, a and also, she's from Pasadena. So where did this accent come from? <laughs> Traveling around the world. Yeah, she. Well, she's just sort of fancy. But yeah. in a really yeah. accessible way. She came from rich. But that's how she sounded <laughs> yeah. in real life. No, for, yeah. And But she's passed from Pasadena. She, so. one of the great special effects in this film, maybe the best special effect since uh, Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. she's a, gi a giantess. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's not real. She's in real life. She's shorter than Stanley Tucci. Yeah. Yeah. Marilyn? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's five, six. They Tucci's did five, eight. Such a good job. Yeah. It looks amazing. Yeah. I have no idea. How they did it. No. I think they're just, she, she's just on like stilts. stilts or like she's in <laughs> dresses the whole time and then they put her in a box in. under her. But like if you put me on stilts, you'd be like, heels. That, that bitch got a Looks tiny head for that body. They probably just put massive put platforms massive heels on her, on and her heels. Foot. But yeah. like how's her head not look like out of Hair. perspective? I think they must have done some forced perspective shots or something. You think yeah. they've wasted just time doing <laughs> forced perspective like <laughs> elf? It's all CGI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just put her in stilts probably. Whatever it was, it was a Effective. Yeah. And the sister, Jane Lynch. Oh. Also huge. Oh my God. That was such so, a good reveal. So, he's such so a good small. Yes. Yeah. And then when she runs over from the train. Yes. Oh, it's like two wild turkeys. It was so <laughs> funny. Finding each other <laughs> in the turkey. wild. Uh, but, I um I did love too that they because at first I was like oh, this bitch is really tall yeah. and then they did have a scene between the sisters where they like acknowledge it I'm like oh thank God yeah. <laughs> no, oh thank God they're no, talking about how giant you are but yeah. like yeah. I I I love that scene with uh, Jane Lynch's character where she's um where there's she's trying to Meryl I'm sorry Julia <laughs> is trying to introduce uh, her her taller gentleman friend to her sister and she's like you guys could probably date blah 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 so she's taking this gentleman over to meet her sister and she's already talking to a guy and she like has her arm above over him. above him like looking down <laughs> like a fucking on the high, wall. high school bat football player yes. talking to a, a junior or whatever and <laughs> It was just so funny. And then they were like looking at her, like watching her the whole time. Just like, she's not going to run off with 
with him. Yeah. Right? Like cousin child huh. or whatever his name and is. And then it just hard cuts to, to their, their wedding. wedding and then so dancing. good. Such a good bit. Yeah. Now behind every giant test Theramician goddess there it is. is the short king. Yeah. Some of you don't know the name, but that's that guy from the Hunger Games. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tucci could not be hotter. Yeah, no. he's hot as fuck. He yeah. was he was sexy as fuck. Yeah. He was he was very hot. I think that there should be like a a, a Mr. Skin site for all of the hot <laughs> Tucci. Tucci scenes. A hundred percent. Mr. Tucci. Yeah. Or some Mr. shit like that. Tucci, but Tucci skin. It's called yeah, Mr. Tucci. Dome, and it's just his, his bald beautiful yeah. head. Getting yeah. head. No, he's yeah. only Tucci. had hair in Hunger Games. Right? That's true, and <laughs> I, he doesn't need it. I'm not no. saying that as a diss. No, I he's the hottest it. bald man for sure. Yeah. Can I Easy. say yeah. the deep, deep shame that I feel <laughs> knowing that I paid money to get my yes. hair back? Yeah, <laughs> when you could have been a Tooch? <laughs> when Stanley Tucci yeah. is Glasses? walking this earth? Yeah, <laughs> and I paid money right. yeah. to yeah. run away from my destiny. Yeah. 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 For shame. Yeah. Maybe this is your moment. Maybe yeah. you cut it down just to see what you would yeah, look like. Yeah, shave it all off. I, I'm a, I, Buzz I don't it. think I deserve it. He's just uh, got the best jaw. It's the something it's about the him. That it's just a works. heavy jaw. It's yeah. a heavy jaw. He talks out his mouth. He yeah. talks out his. It's it's a very heavy jaw. It's a very smooth and calculated way of speaking to you. Yeah. Like he's never in a rush Ugh, to no. have any type of conversation. Yeah. Um, also, what's his accent? Perfect. Yeah, Incredible. it's just perfect. He's definitely got an accent. It's just Italian. Classic. Place. It's just Italian. It's, yeah. it's cla That's what he is. He's, He's a classic. classic man. He smells like cologne yeah. no matter what time of day. He oh. has he has the fucking signet ring all the time. Yeah. yeah. They he, don't make him like that anymore. No, 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 no. He, but there, were, the, he, he also had a tiny mustache, the little line mustache. Oh, that, I love that little mustache. That's that's really nice, yeah. Oh, yeah. that yeah. little mustache. He yeah. has the mustache, but then he shaves the top of it, yeah. so it's just the little. Oh, it's just little. He looks oh, like a little He's clue fucking character. groomed. Yeah, yeah. That's he's what it is. Man. And in he this movie, care. he plays a government agent that like may or may not have been a spy. Yeah, He was yeah. not a spy. It was during the McCarthy era. Where they so thought it's he the, re been. the Red Scare. The Red Scare. Uh, uh, as a sad chapter in American history mm -hmm. where uh, we were all turned against each other. And so they were living out uh, globally. They had traveled to China. And yeah. so that enough was an, uh, just going enough. somewhere else was enough yeah. to get you labeled as a possible communist. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. was something that they uh, were dealing with in their life, which was, I had no idea. Really their relationship, yeah. something we didn't touch on, is their, rep their relationship represented something very big for that time. Because of how different they looked, they got a lot of shit mm -hmm. for, he got a lot of shit for why would you be with a woman like this? Yeah. Because he was shorter than her. He made more money than her. At one point, he let her just kind of do whatever she wanted. And there's, I think, even a line Amy Adams acknowledges where she's like, it didn't matter what they looked like. They loved each other. And you have no doubt in this movie, and Tucci does such a good job of loving the fucking shit out of her. And it yeah. made you feel like there didn't need to be that, that didn't need to be brought up in their storyline. It was like, let them just love hard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, it's not just physical for me with the Tooch. There's there's an emotional depth. Yeah. But I do want to talk about the physical. Okay. There's something okay. really clean and simple about this that I think is quite lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree. How simple is it? We There's this one shot where he's walking. He's got like the newsy, newsboy yep. cap. Mm -hmm. He's got this tight white short sleeve oh, yeah. shirt, these slacks. And it's like, oh, Tooch, you've been working out? Mm -hmm. What buff. the fuck? Stanley... He kisses Meryl <gasps> and at dinner. It's but it's like they're at the dinner table and it's tender. It's open mouth, like Ugh. more than just a yeah. just a smooch. And I'm like, it's sweet, but it's also sexy. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my God. Now a little spoiler alert. We uh next week's movie Falling for Christmas. Yeah. Starring Lindsay Lohan. Uh the <laughs> three of us watched together last <laughs> night. Uh, and then we were gonna watch Julie and Julia do a little double feature. And we started it. We we're like, ah, it's getting late. You know what? Get out, Garrick! Like is is about to fall asleep. Garrick He's still jet lagged. With his mouth We're open. like, get out of here. We'll go watch it separately in the morning. So I watched the movie alone, and thank God, <laughs> you guys left. Were when you, you so did horny? Because Jesus the Christ. very next <laughs> scene, Stanley Tucci is laying in bed in this freaking <laughs> pajama, full body suit, yeah. open like chest. it's oh, open yeah. chest. TV. It's like yeah. Jeff Goldblum laying in yeah. Jurassic yeah. Park. You yeah. know that meme? It is. 
too intimate, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Too and intimate. then he fucks Meryl. Yeah. It is the most. <laughs> he fucks Meryl. It is the most un, like off screen, <laughs> but still in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> That that uh, that. Valentine's Day card of them two naked in the bathtub, that's real. They actually sent that out of them two. Like they were just, they were fucking sex addict, hippie yeah. fucks when it came to their sex life. There's some that's good uh, good sexing in this movie about food, which I, does, I think speaks to your point about- Food's horny. Food, foods be horny. Yeah. Uh, after, um, we're, we haven't talked about Julie much and we'll, we'll pivot <laughs> at a point, but- uh, Julie dicks down her husband so good that he literally (laughs) rolls over and goes, thank Thank you, God. (laughs) That was awesome. That was such a (laughs) sick move because she's, he does that and then she sits down and still starts going back to work yeah. Yeah. she's like because I they're got, eating I got other good y'all yeah, you're rules. not thinking about how good these men are eating at yeah. all times yeah. oh, they're well fed yeah. and they're well fucked I thought about, well it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about I thought it exclusively about it I'm like and okay it's, it's Julie's husband's a fucking bitch he sucks. He sucks. But them working together in this and then them also doing sharp objects is such a hilarious, yeah. crazy reverse yeah. of like, you know. But, but I, he is like That's like Marilyn annoying. Tucci. They reverse yeah. power dynamic. That's yeah. right. Yeah. But he, he, I will say like, yeah, their relationship is fine. I guess like- he's such a bitch. He's I thought just it was kinda, fine. I thought it was fine. He kind of like, he, what she's doing is obsessive. But it's just, we it like her so- It was making her a miserable person at one point. Yeah, at one point, was, yeah. He she was, was like, I support you, but not if you're gonna be a fucking cunt about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't, I mean, she was like, look, she was deep into pressure. Yeah. But like, he is this level of toxic positivity that I cannot stand where yeah. everything that's going bad, like I wrote down some of the things that he said in that fight where he's like, the, this thing that she's really been looking forward to, this this New York Times writer or yeah. someone, no, no, it's Julia Child's editor, yeah. Yeah. cancels dinner and he goes, more stew for us. He oh, I thought even, that was cute. Doesn't even take a moment to validate yeah, that her sucks. hurt. And then he keeps saying, could be worse, you'll live. Somehow was, your readers will, like, he just bad. keeps being like, doesn't matter. And yeah. like, n- fucking be there. It's a terrible yeah. It's a really shit, like and dump you, his ass. You know what sucks about it too is it's sort of the thing of where people don't get like digital media careers because she's a blogger. <laughs> it's like right. a new, He's he, she's like on the precipice, which I guess we can do in a second, but it really makes me be like, man, blogs were kind of fucking cool. Yeah, <laughs> they were. Like, it sucks that now like blogs became vlogs, became tweets, and yeah. now we don't like really have any intellect going on. Yeah. Now they're but, their Instagram captions. Yeah, it like yeah. sucks. But I was like, oh, that is cool to just like read something so Yes, wrote, and right? have so many fans and how yeah. I, I was going to put that bring that up too is like this really had a weird like virality like digital media story yeah. that we like <laughs> don't think about and especially probably people who watch this weren't even alive when there were like yeah. blogs happening <laughs> at that level yeah. but that to gain that audience and to like have that exposure pre-social yeah. media was crazy oh yeah it's really wild did you follow any blogs Oh, I'm sure. I think I followed Donald Glover's. Oh, yeah. oh, you know what? I do remember reading when he was like yeah. doing Derek stuff. So Julie is a, a writer who gave up on her dreams. Who amongst us hasn't, hasn't had a depressed project <laughs> yeah. that got out of control? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, if you, during the pandemic, yeah. uh, I know people that uh, started parody music videos uh, related <laughs> to the pandemic. That was that was a d- dark time. Yeah. Wow. I know someone, a guy who started a fashion blog gardening <laughs> bread everyone was in a bread oh yeah. yeah everybody was doing that fucking, fucking sourdough sourdough i think yeah. that this movie actually is a little dangerous in that it makes you think that you can do it wait your yeah. day job yeah. To, yeah. To yeah. and i would say don't hobby. You yeah can't. well you know what's I, funny like i yeah because I, th- I do get what you mean i think that to me this movie is like like this doesn't exist anymore like mm-hmm. this facet of the internet where like yeah. If you actually are the most interesting and you're doing a really interesting thing, like that doesn't work anymore. No. <laughs> like that doesn't no, matter. You have to be it hot. Truly is beef bourguignon. Yeah, like that is so fucking cool, but it doesn't exist anymore. But it did. I, what I love about it too, though, it, even like she goes viral, but I kind of like that she's not necessarily doing it to go viral. She eventually no. starts doing it. And I think that makes her miserable. And that's why he's like, your readers will understand. But uh, I like the idea that no matter who you are or what you're doing, you can like devote yourself to a project 
that is outside of your skill set and that like that can bring you joy throughout your yeah. whole you know week. Yeah, because it, it it takes your mind off of like the mundaneness of your day job. Yeah, right. You she know? works in the World Trade Center, right? Yeah. No, she yeah she uh, is a temp at a call center. For people oh, right. post 9 11 that yeah. need help in like insurance and yeah. renovation yeah. It's help. Bleak. It's a yeah. bleak but, job. But yeah. a really interesting time capsule, too. Right. right. That's another crazy part of this movie. When the 9 11 shots happened, we all went, whoop. Yeah. What? Well, at first what? I was like, why? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I know. No, but it was a doing? part of her story, which is crazy because yeah. you're right. It, re it reminds us how old this was. Right. Yeah. And that makes me feel old because I'm like, that wasn't that, that long, long ago. ago. It was 10 <laughs> years ago, right? Yeah. Nope. It you know, was 20. Yeah. I can't believe also that she she had never eaten an egg. Oh, my before. God. Thank but God you brought this up. Is that <laughs> What the fuck is that about? You are whining. God yeah, damn right I am. Is that is that because <laughs> That's of. Insane. Of like her own dietary restrictions. No, no. she said because she thought it was gonna be greasy and slimy. Yeah, she thought it was gonna be gross. Like so, yeah. she had like a texture thing, and yeah. then yeah, that's fair, dude. No, absolutely no, not. not. I think, fair. I think that's How fair. How many I times think... were you confronted with an egg before you turned ten? A lot. In mood. A lot. I want you to listen Forced to me. To. If you are out there right now, yeah, and you've never tried an egg. I'm waiting for you to, and then I don't. I don't, I don't oh. give, give, give it to me, too, G. <laughs> and to try I it was be the a UR poached YH. egg as your first egg. Pasta, aglio, e olio. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> try it as fucking any. Try it as a scramble. Yeah. Try it as a frittata. Right. Ease yourself yeah. into it. That's like doing a raw dog fucking deep throat in the egg raw, man. Yeah, man. No, I th yeah, <laughs> I think having a runny egg first is kind of kind of psychotic. crazy. Yeah. It's psychotic. But like, I I still get it. There are people who don't try a lot of shit because no. they just didn't have it, have it when they were younger and they're like, fuck and this No, thing. everyone yeah. has access to eggs. Everyone. I mean, everybody has access to eggs, sure. Across the world, but if chickens she, exist. If she never had <laughs> it. Shitting out eggs. If she never had it. But why wouldn't she have? I don't know. Her parents are weird. No, she lives in Queens. Stop She's at an egg sandwich. There's an egg sandwich on every block. This is absolutely fucking insane behavior. Yeah. And you trying to be like, no, it's cool. I'm Bitch, not saying it's cool. You, I'm just saying that it happens. It, no. It does happen. To Find me yeah. one person who has never tried an egg. I need to know who you are and we need to have a All little right, chat. All right, sound off in the comments. If you've never had an egg, if you've never had an egg, yeah. let us I need to know. know what fucking cardboard box you've been living in, trapped away in a, in a wow, closet. Wow, not even under a rock. A nope. cardboard box? Yep, and you're and you're locked inside of a closet in someone's basement. That's oh, damn right. That's Hot. cool. Anybody but, uh, seen The Patient? No. The Avengers oh, linking up on screen for the first time. Rose and Jack at the helm of the Titanic. Yeah. yeah. Avis and Julia meeting in the train station. Aww. That's beautiful. Some scenes are just cinema. Yeah. Full I agree. body chills. Mm -hmm. Seeing that woman meet her pen pal for the first time. Remember yeah. pen pals? Oh my God. No. Never had one. <laughs> really? Kind of yeah. weirded me out. They I tried. Kinda, yeah. They tried to set one up at my school, and yes. I was like, "Fuck that." Yeah. I'm not. I mean, you're not. You're not giving me homework to make a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Garrick was cool yeah, enough, y'all. Cool. No. Some of us I'm, needed a little, a little boost. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's just, gonna, it's just gonna be just gonna be some adult man being like, "What are you wearing?" Or some weird shit. No, yeah. fuck that. I'm not yeah. gonna. No. Kelsey, no. were you like railing down Ritalin and then writing to your pen pal? <laughs> yeah, right? You had the craziest <laughs> I childhood. I didn't start Ritalin until later in life. Railing down Ritalin. I, I loved writing as a child. Yeah. So when they made us do pen pals, I was like, I'll do yours for you. Can I write yours? Like, <laughs> yeah, see, any exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So now I'm not even talking to yeah. you. So imagine if my pen pal is doing the, that same shit yeah. with their uncle. So like, you had I, Stranger I Danger. Yeah. yeah. Stranger <laughs> Danger immediately. Yeah. Check that's why out. I'm so mad that we got away from screen names on the internet. Yeah. That's and a fun time. I kept because mine. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah, you did. Fuck. Porn did it. Was that yours as a kid? Anonymity. Yeah. Oh, anonymity. Oh, I was miles per hour 666. Oh, sick. <laughs> Not 669? Sick kind of fucking fire. Not yeah. 669? Is that the devil's numbers? 666 is the devil's numbers. Yeah. I was California girl 17. <laughs> That's hilarious because <laughs> you, you grew up in Florida. Florida. Yeah. <laughs> and that look, I was born here and I found my way home. Yeah. I was always meant to be a California girl. Yeah. Woo! 
uh, you brought up in the beginning of the episode this idea of never meet your heroes. Yeah. Mm. And so to build up to it, uh, uh, Amy Adams, Julie, she goes viral. Mega. Uh, they they do a, just like an Evan article <laughs> just like <laughs> Evan Hansen. <laughs> Thank you. For but without that falling out of the tree. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that we know of. She's written about in the New York Times, uh, and everyone is blowing her up, being like, I read Food about Network. you in the New York Times. It was so great. Publishers. Went down a little different for me, but that's cool for you, How Julie. How did it go down for you? <laughs> yeah. Here's a recipe that my dad used to cook on a Friday night. <laughs> did you do the keys? No. Oh. Still so she it. gets a call that Julie, Julia Childs... Mm -hmm. Had said some not nice things. Yeah. Commented on her. What did she say exactly? Article. She said... Uh, it was like a waste of time. And, yeah, you, know. you didn't respect me. Or she didn't respect me. But she doesn't know if she had just read the New York Times article <laughs> or read her blog too. And that is all we ever hear about it. Yeah. Which you is insane for a cinematic masterpiece that tells two stories that you're like, they're eventually gonna meet. No. They're gonna cross paths. No, they have to. This is still based you're off holding, of the true story. Uh, yeah. Hope though. Yeah, I yeah. know. Yeah. But didn't didn't eventually Julia Childs become friends with her or some shit? Later, I think that I mean maybe we'll learn in the fun facts. But oh. l later, I do believe that they uh, sh she she was like okay, it's fine. <laughs> 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 like it wasn't like they didn't have like a triumphant thing, but it was like later Julia Ch Child was like, yeah, I guess it's like bringing more people to wow. cook. And, but I mean, what it what I'm sorry, what did um, Julia Child believe that this woman was doing? like bastardizing her recipes and being like, I can make it and write about it on the internet. And it's like, it's, I think that Julia Child probably believed that she was like taking these recipes and being like, like slapping them, in, them together and not respecting the art of cooking. And, Got it. And also probably, I mean, she, she was like fucking 90. She's 90. You know, like you're an old woman and you're like, you can't do what I she did. Was, like she was probably like, I, this woman better not be black. I swear to God, <laughs> yeah, she like just okay. really mad about it. <laughs> Fucking, You're right. she was just, there a single I just, black person in this film? Uh, no, no, no. Every no, every time I think about somebody, some older white woman being like eighty five, yeah, no, it's tough. He's just like, yeah. I swear to God, if they're a minority, I'm gonna lose my top. What a freak. You know what? I, I, yeah, I would be. Ner I'm not. Like, I don't know, when you live in L.A., I do feel like there's a certain thing where you see, like, fucking, you know, Brad Pitt getting a Klondike. And so, you it, like, being nervous around Klondike. celebrities. I just, like, you see people doing regular stuff. But my point is, there's a lot of celebrities that, uh, now I'll be like, oh, that's kind of cool. If I was around, and behind Stanley Tucci in line, I'd be nervous. You, Yeah, yeah. I would. Oh. Would you say anything to him? Uh, I might be like, hey, I, I'm a really big fan. Like, because he's just so great. Yeah. Even though there's other people that are m bigger than him or you whatever. you want to play it out how it would go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, sure. yeah. And, and where like, are you guys? We're at like Go Get Him Tiger. Or okay. In, in Silver Coffee Lake, Bean. Yeah. Yeah. Coffee Bean. For coffee those people bean. who don't live here. God, what? Coffee Bean. Tucci is a Trader Joe's man. He's anyway. definitely getting the there's fucking not a maple. Chance that so, he's, never, he's, he's never even uh, heard of Trader Joe's. So he's Joe. standing in line. Are you fucking and he's, kidding me? Yeah, he's he's on his phone. No, he's, he's not on his phone. Shot. He's present. He's present. He's, present. he's, he's not on the his menu. phone. Yeah. Tucci is shopping at the phone. local Italian mart yeah. market. Yeah. Right. He has he goes with Italy. things that are like, like Italy is imported like directly for him. And he goes to the back and he's like, Hello, Fabrizio. How are we? Yeah. Fabrizio? He sniffs the cheese and yeah. he goes, oh, that's magnificent. Thank okay, you. so we're in line. All right, so I, I, here's he's how I, present. He's looking at the menu. Yeah, he's just like looking at the menu like, wow. He's like the loving coffee it. coffee bean. He's wow. coffee. Oh, and I'm going. the aromas in there. I'm just going like, oh, he's probably holding a baguette. I'm yeah, guessing. I am. Um, oh, hey, are those uh, are those good? Oh, wow. Hi, yes. The, the baguettes here are magnificent. Oh, I'll have, to, I'll have, to, I'll have to grab one too. Um... <laughs> I just, I just wanted to say I that I'm a. Panic. I just I, want to say I'm a really big fan. I just want to say I really you have you're just a fantastic actor and I really respect a lot of what you do. Oh wow! Well, thank you so much. It's yeah. a real honor and a privilege to do what I do, and I appreciate you for watching the cinema. Yeah, no problem. Let me. Uh, you know what? Let me pay for your your <gasps> baguette. You know what? I can't let you do that, but I would insist that you try this goat cheese with fig spread. And in fact, I'm going to put it on my tab and I want you to tell me how you like it. I, I certainly will. How should I let you know? I'll know. 
All right. Okay. Okay. I just want to say you don't some you don't know the name of the league. That's that guy from the Hunger Games. Yeah. Like, by the way, that was that was a hot ass. That was hot as fuck. That was hot as shit. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. I felt like I. I. Yeah. Yeah. That was wild. I'm attracted to me. Wow. That was so cool. Like to know that that's in you, but you're actively choosing not to be that way is so confusing. <laughs> it's crazy that the, it's the so spirit of Tucci can really pass yes. through you and turn yeah. you into. Can, a, can I try if if you were in line? Can, did, oh can I show God, you what I would please. do? Yeah, yeah. Go for okay, it. so you're, oh, you're looking at the menu. Yeah, yeah. you're so Tucci. Okay. okay, so I'm here and I am looking. I'm, I, <gasps> Tucci, <laughs> Tucci gang, Tucci gang, Tucci gang. I have to ask that you not do that. Sir, again. we have a podcast. <laughs> yeah. We did a whole month of your movies. Jesus oh, Christ. Wow. Would you come on next year when we do Tucci Month again? Wow, that is quite an honor. What's your agent's number? Uh, you need to stop talking <laughs> so I can respond. <laughs> Kelsey is deranged. I've had cold brew, you guys. I would love to join. <gasps> and I will now give you the dickings of a lifetime. <laughs> That's exactly how I saw this playing out. If oh Tucci God. was Kelsey, coming am, on the show, I'd, I'd redesign the studio. Yeah. <laughs> I would I would like muzzle us all. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't I let would, us all talk. We just, we just I'd be like, guys, go. fucking Shut the fuck circle up. up. We yeah. need meetings we need, to decide yeah, on many. how. We need to do like a full on season of the rehearsal, Nathan Fielder style, <laughs> yeah. to know every- Kind of like what we did for Fast and Furious interviews. Uh, oh my yeah. God. I can't that? believe that happened. Do you forgot. notice that we have a real thing for bald men? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Soft-spoken bald men. I yeah. think that's So hilarious. strong. Uh, Where were we? Who cares? Who cares, <laughs> man? Uh, if your hero yeah. said that they didn't respect you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's good. So, like, yeah, that shit hurt me. Mm -hmm. That hurt me mm -hmm. to my fucking core. And it's it's kind of the reason why I'm afraid to meet anybody. Anybody. That I look, anybody I look Devastating. Like it's, it's not even... Because I, it's not even them saying that they're disappointed in your work or anything like that. It is truly just... I have this idea of who you are... And I think this movie does a really good job of that. Um, I have this idea of who you are in my head. And if that is any different in any type, in any, any slight or anything like that, I will, like, I'll be so devastated. I'll be so upset that you are just not the person that I thought you were. It's, you look, they say never meet your heroes because inevitably they won't stand up to who you think they yeah, are, right? Exactly. Um, mm -hmm. And maybe you're just going to meet them on a bad day or whatnot. Right. But also something I think about with my favorite filmmakers, I don't think I would want to because our references are different, right? Right. Like, the, uh, my reference is their work, and I love their work, but their work is references to stuff that, frankly, yeah. I don't know or fuck with the same way. Right. Yeah. And so Casablanca. I'm... <clears throat> <laughs> sure, right? Yeah. But there's this like fear of disappointing people that yeah. you look up to. Absolutely. Yeah. And then being like, oh, I got nothing to talk to about to you about yeah. because Be everything I know I've learned from you. Right, yeah, right. Man. And then the, I mean, there's the age gap. It's just like you're 20 years older than me. So all of the things that you have dealt with and what your life has amounted to yeah. is completely different than what mine has or, or mine is. Or, okay, I will say though, I have had the opposite where I've like met some not heroes, but like cool people. Like who, who, like who, who, well, like what I'm thinking about is is y'all know that I'm a huge fan of Yola and her music, and yeah. now we're like super tight. Yeah, right. Oh, wow. with her on Friday, and mm -hmm. like that's a very cool special feeling. Yeah, that's... so I think it's time <laughs> we move on to, to fun, fun facts. facts with Zach's. Back. Here's a recipe. That my dad used to cook on a Friday night. Oh my God. What was it? I'm dying to know. <laughs> it was aglio e olio. Oh. Pasta, aglio e olio. Oh, that's just, that's just pasta with olive oil. No, it's it's pasta with olive oil and parsley and red pepper flakes and garlic, and it's really fucking good and right, simple. Right, but yeah. it's very simple. Yeah, super simple. When it's done And well. lemon juice, lemon juice. Because of Meryl <clears throat> Streep's height, she's 5'6". Uh, several camera, set, and costume tricks were employed to mimic Julia Child's height, which Eww. was 6'2", as someone said. Uh, countertops were lowered. Street wore extra high heels, as Kelsey <laughs> guessed. And there were forced perspective camera nice. angles. There Dude, wow. let's go. There it is. I fully yelled at you being like, this idiot. <laughs> <laughs> this was, uh, by the way, Meryl's 16th acting nomination. Yeah. I mean, she wow. rules, man. She was fucking fantastic. And I don't think we even touched on it enough, even though we did touch on it. Oh, much. she was wonderful. She was fucking fantastic yeah. in yeah. this movie. She's the character. She yeah, we don't need character. to spend yeah. any more time I, talking about it. And I apparently. think that this is the 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 
uh, benefits or the advantages of being method is that you do method. just give yeah. such a convincing character performance. Yeah. Although, you know what I've heard about her hmm. is that she's not method at all. In fact, she's quite the opposite. And just, she did it for Prada. She did it for Prada. Oh, really? That's why yeah. we were just talking. That's oh, why I brought it up. The only reason I say that is because I've heard a story, and maybe she, I mean, it's obviously probably a different movie. She does different stuff. Yeah. But I've heard a story of her doing a scene in some fucking movie. I can't remember. She's like weeping in the scene. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as they call cut, she's like, all right, like what are we doing for lunch? Like That's coming, great. coming August fully Osage out County. of it to yeah. make everyone comfortable. I mean, Denver Wells Prada is such a specific role. Yeah. And that's also a little earlier on maybe in her career. Maybe too. it's something it was a year that she earlier. Yeah. To... Well, no, no, no. I don't think she was method in this. <laughs> in... <laughs> maybe she was. Can you imagine? She goes home and What's she's like, lunch, everybody? I think it would be fucking insane if she wasn't method <laughs> for be this. So and action. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's also funny, I mean, we didn't talk about this, but like to see Meryl doing a big character. Right. Because she's yeah. a, an actor usually of subtlety, right? Yeah. But like, I saw I saw her acting in some of this. Not not in a bad way. Like sure. I saw her. You are whining. It's yeah, a you are whining. <laughs> you are whining. I saw like, especially when she would pause, she'd do these pauses before talking. I was like, that's the Meryl pause. Yeah, I yeah. know. I get what you're saying. You know, no, fuck off, Miles. I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> she, uh, you no <laughs> are whining. Not that I think she needed to win for this because like she, then she would just win for everything. But uh, <laughs> you know who she lost the Oscar to? Who? Sandy Bullock <gasps> in the blind side. Oh, Yuck. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> All right. Yikes. I, I, I just thought that that movie was so weird. Yike. Yeah. I think that so was so the general. You are correct. Yeah. yeah. The, you are correct. I, don't, I, I, I know I, I say I. I, br I I just think it's blah 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 it's so weird or whatever whenever I'm like talking about shit yeah. but that people generally think yes I mean that's only because I don't read so, <laughs> <laughs> no like, we started this with you read a book before yeah. or was that yesterday that was yesterday my bad so Nora Ephron the great Nora Ephron uh, in her research for this discovered that Julian Paul had a fervent virulent, <laughs> out of control, yep, I told it. sexual relationship. I said it. And they uh, wrote enthusiastically about it to their friends in <gasps> letters. That's fucking hot. That's hot. That's we sick. fucked. Do you think? Sincerely me. <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely <laughs> me. Do you think they brought food into the bedroom? Amy Adams was in Amy that movie. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God, you're right. Which movie? Dear Evan Hansen. Hansen. She was the mom. Oh. An iconic role. Yeah. Do you think they brought food into the bedroom? I yes. think that I think so. Nora was writing this on her typewriter and went, get me Stanley. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what? Yeah. By the way, speaking of, I mean, there's so many fucking good moments in this, but I want a gif of her when she finishes chopping the onions and goes, Whoosh! And all the other people oh, are still yeah. working. It's like such a satisfying shot and moment. Yeah. The, the best, trailer moment. My yeah. favorite scene is when she's practicing chopping onions. It's the scene right before <laughs> that. And crying? Tucci walks in and like his eyes sting. And it's like this a little banter that feels so real. It almost yeah. feels improvised. Yeah. Where she's like, where are you going? He's like, "I well, anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so good. Yeah. Um, so, okay, we talked about this and I'm actually kind of stunned. So... When the script was written, the public did not know, and then the film's creators also didn't know, that Julia was, in fact, a top-secret researcher for the OSS. <gasps> I don't know what the OSS is. Wait, so she was a spy. She was a uh, spy. Soviet, oh, Soviet. my God. I think that they go into that. There's a Julia Child series on HBO Max that oh, yeah. um, is about their life and her, more her cooking show. This was though. bad as fuck. Fuck. So the she records from, were declassified by the time the film came out. What? The filmmakers decided to stick with the original plot and not like change it, <laughs> except they put in that one conversation where the dinner guests go, are you a spy? And she says, and they like, says, they, they no. say like, yes, as a joke. And so that was like a nod. Oh, wow. <gasps> to wow, this. That's cool. The OSS, is I'm going to read it. I thought it was the Soviets. It's not. The OSS is the Office of Strategic Services uh, and the intelligence agency of the United States during World War II. Wow, she bad as fuck. That's crazy. She bad as fuck. Um, and then we haven't talked about her, um, but this was written by the late, great Nora Ephron, also Ugh. directed by her. Yeah. Um, and last night, okay. we had a really uh, unfortunate <sighs> revelation. So Nora Ephron- Why she, does he always pick on me? She directed <laughs> Sleepless in Seattle. Amazing. Uh, uh, You've Got Mail. Yes. And she wrote, to me, the greatest love story of all time, When Harry Met Sally. Yeah, yeah. Kelsey has not seen any 
of those movies. A lot of classics, Kelsey. Yeah. I was busy. <laughs> I love that as an excuse. In high school, I, doing yes. what? Like, what do you think? Doing drugs, having yeah. sex, fucking, Railing making Ritalin. a name for myself. <laughs> Sorry, myself. Right Sorry we didn't house. fuck as much in yeah, high no, school. Yeah, no, you should be. When I tell you the That's way yeah. that I fully stood, yeah. walked 10 me- feet away, <laughs> yeah. bent over. He scared Bowie. When she <laughs> yeah. said that she had never seen when Harry met Sally, and I like, like what did I jaw? say? I go, that's the Cameron Diaz one, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about the holiday? What is- and I, <laughs> when she said, that's the Cameron Diaz one? What's the one with cum in her hair? No, that's when no. Harry, that's a, <laughs> that's that's something a long, about Mary. Ca- it's something okay, about Mary. I was going to say either. a long time, Polly. Also no. a great movie. When Harry met Sally, Billy Crystal, uh, and fucking what's I want to give it? a shout out no, to Natalie not. who heard the episode where I said I had never watched Clueless and she sent me a full Clueless care package. Glasses, the DVD, a t-shirt, a pens, puffy pens. I have no idea how, like, I don't know how I'm going to watch a DVD, oh but what thank you, Natalie. Yeah. Natalie, okay, Natalie, I've never seen Uncut Gems. Send me diamonds. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> Julie and Julia, I would the like a is pestle this? of mortar. Oh my God. Anyway, carry on. Uh, so you've never seen a Meg Ryan movie? I don't think so. Wow. You got to get into it. Yeah. Don't Can we do Meg Ryan do. month? I would love. No. <laughs> it's not going to be, it's not going to roll off the tongue like two G. <laughs> Although we could do time. Millie Bobby, <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown, Millie, Millie Bobby time. December, <laughs> Millie Bobby month. I just want you to know the way that you're like that. We're like this bitch has never eaten an egg. How are we gonna listen to it's her? It's the exact food same wow. with the never seen Harry Met Sally. We have a wow. movie podcast. Yeah, that's right. absolutely. We're gonna do a month called Kelsey's Never Seen. Yeah, I think okay. so. Classics month. I think that's. I good. mean, by the way, there's a lot I haven't seen. Yeah, same here. Yeah. But I'm just. I didn't. I was watching like fucking Pulp Fiction. But the and ones that Clock you have Orange in high school. The ones that you haven't seen are completely in line with your personality. That's what makes That's it what's shocking. So shocking. Interesting. So basic? No, no, no. no, 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 no classic? No. Perfect. Classic and per good. Yeah, good. classic and good. And, and what I love Stop about this movie too, I mean, this is Nora Ephron through and through. It's shot on film. I it like, yeah, it, it like has it. this textural graininess. Yeah. I mean, it takes place in 2001, but it feels... Like one of those, they don't make it anymore. Yeah. It's like oh. Tucci as a movie. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean, though. The the filmmaking style is not trying to... It's before the resurgence... We've talked about this a lot, I feel like. But the resurgence of filmmaking trying to outsmart tropes yeah. and trying to like get under the skin of the viewer where it's like, you're not expecting us to start the movie in this way where what if the main character hated everything? Yeah. <laughs> but I do think it did kind of outsmart tropes. It does. No, it does. You're expecting it to Mm -hmm. have this whole fallout with a lot of the characters, and Mm -hmm. then it just never really does. Totally. We're um, we're now subtly into the, is this movie a pleasure, guilty pleasure, just plain guilty, so I'll just keep it rolling. I I think it's a pleasure, and Nora Ephron, she's so deftly, she's so deft as a filmmaker Mm -hmm. and has this invisible touch where there's a real traditionalism to her framing a lot of the time. You... Her directing is invisible. You don't you don't think of the movies that she makes as necessarily yeah. well directed, but there's really smart framing, very mm-hmm. economical framing yeah. and lighting. She's really just awesome. a only, really like, sharp filmmaker. Moving yeah. shot that like I was like, that's a clearly a dolly or mm-hmm. or like her signature was in like the that. very beginning when her and Tucci are eating a meal together and it's like on them for a moment. And then as they go into the scene, the the camera moves around in a half circle like, okay, we're getting started. There's and then it doesn't shot. do that again. Yeah, but there's she, a one take that's like really long. Yeah. yeah. She She's very economical as a filmmaker and has an invisible touch. And this is the last film that she made before she passed. Um, it's... I don't think that this is the best movie in her filmography. I don't even think it's close, frankly. <laughs> yeah, no. wow. But she... Is she un- made when Harry you yeah. My are whining. Heavy. Directed by the great Rob Reiner, the fucking goat. Um, but like, I just think she's so underrated as a filmmaker. We we sing her praises as a writer, but as a filmmaker, like, mm-hmm. there's just great, really smart framing. We talk about the shot of her making that chocolate cake, like the way that that's lit. The the what she chooses to put in the frame and not put in the frame. She knows what the fuck she's doing. Yeah. So put some respect on Nora Ephron's name. Okay. She's not just a writer. She's a director. She's one of the greats. I love her work. Mm-hmm. She means so much to me. Wow. I hope 
that her legacy lives strong forever and ever. Give, give, give it to me, Tucci. And she gave us the fucking hottest Tucci yeah. that yeah. has ever existed. Yeah. For real. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so I would say this is a hard pleasure um, for me. But I think that one of the reasons I wanted to do it for this show is because I think that I've said that this is one of my favorite movies to a lot of people. And I think a lot of people have funny. not seen it. Yeah. And, pe and people are like, what? Like, that's so weird. And they think it's like a classic rom com -y whatever yeah. movie. It yeah. feels frivolous even in the title. Yes. Yeah. Julie and Julia. Like, what? You know, it's about Julia Child. Why? But it's so unexpectedly phenomenal. Yeah. And I think that that's why it's a hard pleasure. Also, I really want to, I'm saying this out loud so nobody steals it, even if they do, but I want to do Julie and Julia and Miles where I just make the recipes from the movie. <laughs> Great. How many are there in the movie? There's only like 10 or 15 that she actually makes that are on camera. Yeah. Okay. But there's some, like there's some of the weird jello ones. What if like you do jello. Julie, Julia and Miles and it's you doing a vlog <laughs> Following the blog, yeah, following yeah. the book. So exactly. just, yeah, you could that's... recreate all 524. Oh my and just god! No, I'll say goodbye to Miles. <laughs> but you don't have to do it in a year. He's becoming do a it father. Over five years. Yeah, exactly. But I, but I would love to make little French meals for my my little French boy. My little French <laughs> baby. Little baby. The pain that I had knowing that if I ate any of these dishes, yeah. I would die. Shotgun out of my asshole the way that Kelsey pees. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like <laughs> I, I would. <laughs> it would <laughs> <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> All that butter. Oh All that butter. Yeah, I think it is a hard pleasure as well. I yeah. think that this is framed like uh, you've got mail. Um, where is that? That's the name of the movie, yep, right? Yeah. I didn't expect that. I was looking for a reaction of, of, of you've got mail. But anyway, I think that it is the exact same framing, but the love story is in between people um, uh, emailing each other or mailing each other. It is between someone writing a blog about someone else and like falling in love with them. And then it's unrequited, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Because like at the end, usually the couple the gets together and all that yeah. stuff and it wraps up in a bow and it's really nice and it's really sweet. But she's like, no, I don't I don't like this bitch. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. And, and it is Fuck beautiful you. that we didn't talk about it earlier that like. Julie and Julia never reconcile yeah, that in the movie. Yeah. But Julie still like, doesn't matter. I yeah. still love her. Yeah. And that's yeah. nice. I Which did is very read sweet. an article about that it was a little bit more hyped as a uh what is the word you just used? Rivalry? Yes. That actually Contentious was. relationship? Yes. That like it was it was like, yeah, Julia Childs was not very serious of a person and that they Never did meet, but that she didn't hate her. I'm sure she didn't give a fuck. She was yeah. like, I'm 80. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, now it's time for my pleasure stuff that we are yeah. loving in media. Uh, this is one that I'm very excited to tell people about. Okay. I want okay. you to listen up. This okay. is the best recommendation I will ever give you Ooh. on this show. It is called Radio. That's with four O's at the end. This is the mm. coolest music discovery app you will ever find. Okay. It is free. I want you Radio. to imagine a map of the world. Click any country. Give me a country. Tanzania. Lithu Lithuania. Lithuania and Tanzania. Okay, we're going to go Tanzania because Kelsey said it first. Damn then it. I want you to pick I a win. decade. Let's say 1960. It's going to give you curated music from that country oh, in that God. decade. That's sick. Also, it's the sick app is hell. so cute. It's super cute. Uh, it is not... This is not like algorithmic Spotify discovery. Bibles. These are music heads around the world uploading their collection, their vinyls, and they are going to give you, like you're just going to find such sick music. I'm really into Zamrock of the 1970s, Zam <laughs> Zambian music. Uh, so like you can get into that, but like you can go into Sweden in the 60s wow. or like oh, yeah. what was Italy listening to in the 80s? So fun. You can pick the year 2070. Yeah, and then they have, like, the future music. It's cool. Uh, I mean, like, even now, like, sometimes I'll just listen to America 2000s, and I'm like, I missed all this. Because it's, Aww. again, it's not, like, top hits. This is music heads giving you stuff that you will not find anywhere else. It mm. rules. Love it. Radio with four O's. Cool. Yeah, I've I've screamed about this uh, to you guys in the group text and, and also last night. But there's a show on Amazon Prime called Mammals. Uh, it is yes. starring... Uh, James Corden. Who you love. Who I love. I love the way he <laughs> screams at waiters at the top yeah, of his lungs. That's awesome. Um, and um, I, for, I forget the other actress's name. Um, but they it, it's 
truly fantastic. It's written by a guy named a guy named uh, Jez Butterworth, hmm. and he uh, did. That's a fake ass name. No, it's real. It's very real. He Jez did. Butterworth. Jez. Jez <laughs> no. Butterworth. Um, That's the Julia Child's porn <laughs> parody. Uh, yeah, hilarious. Um, but he did uh, Edge of Tomorrow. He wrote that. Um, and oh, oh my gosh, I incredible. think that this this is truly one of the better um, written things I, I've watched in a, in a while. Yeah, I, I don't have like a, a full synopsis of it because I don't want to give it away, but mm -hmm. it's very good. Um, my pleasure. I watched Barbarian. And ah, it fucking it rules. Don't read anything about it. Don't. That watch was the my pleasure last week. Oh yeah. shit! Oh, yeah. And me second. and Eugene have talked extensively about this. It rules. I it's fucking, so good. It's like one of my favorite. We think it's a comedy. I was. I described it as a movie that goes from spooky to kooky. It is definitely <laughs> that. Yeah, it's so good. I was actually listening on my way in today a DGA podcast with oh. the director about that. No way! Huh. Yeah, that rules. Um, my pleasure is uh, I'm going digital media. I'm going TikTok. I'm going kind of a little outside of our uh, movies and film and TV. I love uh, home goods as a um, side hobby. I like to decor my house over and over again. I yeah. love to redesign things. I love tchotchkes. Yeah. I have a real problem about it. I started a company about tchotchkes over the pandemic. And there is a girl on TikTok called at get shelf help where she goes into home goods and like, designs a section based on home goods items. So That's if there's cool. just like a table, she'll go around home goods and like design something. And I'm absolutely obsessed. I binge all of her stuff. So if you like me, like home goods and home decor, go watch. If you like me, like home goods. <laughs> if you like me, like home goods. Uh, well, that's it. That's Tucci month. We did it. We came. We saw. We came. We came. We came. <laughs> Again. We Tucci'd. We tucci And... I just want you to know, I heard from y'all, you wanted more Tucci. Why? Many of you were like, where's Easy A? Where's Burlesque? Mm -hmm. Tucci month will ride again. <gasps> Here's a recipe that my dad used to cook <laughs> on a Friday night. <laughs> I'm at Corny and All Things. I'm Kelsey Dara at All the Things. I'm Garrick Bernard at All the Things. I'm Miles Bond on All the Things. Oh, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Miles. I was a guest promote? this week. Oh, Again. yeah. Right. Normally I say, hey, Miles, what do you have to promote? Perfect person. Yeah, I listen to Perfect Person. He's looking for an editor. Miles has a great, I am. <laughs> Miles has a great podcast and That's go right. listen to it. Yeah. Damn right. It's fantastic. Um, Damn and right. I plugged it after everyone had already tuned out. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Yeah. I'll have to have you on. Okay. Yeah, you have will. Have you not gone <laughs> on this podcast yet? No, and I like to give him shit about it. Oh, okay. He's like, no, I'm saving you. I'm oh. holding it because yeah. I know it'll be a good episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, I mean, the people are going to be like, oh my God, Miles and Zach together finally. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't wait. Uh, and until <laughs> next time, a merry Tucci month to you all. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>